Welcome to Dr. Just Runs, and I'm gonna run about this. From Bounds into Comics, complex journalist claims America Chavez is MCU first Hispanic hero, Katfa. Anyway, gets roasted by Twitter. Yeah, no, that's definitely not the first one, but let's... No, 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 before we even go on, I have to complain about... Mm. About the hero they created, this one is just clear virtual signal to pander to my demographic, which I just cannot stand. It's so fucking woke that it just comes <laughs> gives you that. And then you know, I think the best way to analyze this, or to give you. A good example that you can actually experience yourself, grab sugar, make candy out of it, then add more sugar and extra sugar around the sugar, then eat it, and try to eat it with your teeth. Not! You're gonna feel that pain in your teeth and things like that, that's what it feels like with this. No, not only the pain, you'll feel that, mm, that sugary taste in your mouth. And, mm, it feels exactly like this. Anyway. Complex journalist Matt Ramos recently claimed that America Chavez will be Marvel Cinematic Universe first Hispanic hero. Ramos' Twitter bio claims that movie collab includes Disney, Marvel, Warner Bros. Twitter friendly reminder. I don't give a shit. Who wants to bet the guy has pronouns in his bio? Hmm. I haven't checked it. I don't know if I should. After all... <sighs> should I check it? Should I? Uh, hmm. Let me go and check it out. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh no, goddamn. Shit pickle. It doesn't have pronouns. I'm not even going to show it to you because it's gonna dox me. But suffice to say, he doesn't have pronouns in the bio. Whoa, this is kind of like whoa, on fucking real. Hmm, that means he might actually be transphobic. Who knows? Allegedly. Anyway. Let's return to the article. Ramos would be challenged in his assertion with one Twitter user writing Zoe Saldana or Saldana has been in the MCU since 2014. Gamora is an alien, he responds, but so is America Chavez, if I recall correctly. Correctly? Isn't she an alien? I I'm pretty sure she's alien. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure the article is going to cover that. Another user would claim Salma Hayek was definitely the first. Ajak isn't Hispanic. The MCU. Well, cinematic universe. I don't know. Would you actually count? No, no, I don't think it should count the Marvel TV shows on Netflix, should it? But then again, there were no Hispanic superheroes, were they? If there were, they were forgettable. Because I don't even care. But frankly, I don't even care about it. Just make a good superhero. I don't just give a shit about it. Anyway. Uh, Ajax is in Hispanic. Oh. What's hilarious about this is that Chavez is an alien as well. She's not Hispanic. Ah, there you go. As depicted in American Nom Server, Chavez was born in the Utopian Parallel. Marvel explained the Utopian Parallel realm outside conventional time and space from by the unbinding of magic by, by the multi-dimensional messiah Demiurge. I already lost interest. It's so damn generic. So damn generic the story, the origins of her that it just cannot stand it. If that is so, why does she know Spanish? And is he is is, is she Hispanic? Excellent. All right. 
He goes, a man about six years old, mysterious forces permeated the parallel with the dimensional rifts that threaten to fracture it, kill its inhabitants, the Scottish fragment from multiversion, uh, multiverse infinite real. I just don't care anymore. Um, I already feel like sleeping. Of course, the virtual signaling. Well, this is still the official description on Marvel's website. The American Chavez made in the US of fucking A. Series will recon her origin claiming the Utopian parallel are just a private island owned by a billionaire named Mr. Gales. He did not kill himself. Her parents were, were killed while trying to escape the facility after they discovered Gales was attempting to get Chavez to develop her superpower right soon. Chavez would eventually escape. I don't care. Someone member someone in Puerto Rico in order to avoid her. Taking the I don't give a shit. Jesus Christ. Let's move on. He's an alien and not a Hispanic. He ran a smiley Russian on Twitter for his lack of knowledge about the character. Yeah, if you're going to goddamn fucking virtual signal, at least make sure that your information is correct. Anyway, let's see what else is, uh, the other people say. Wouldn't that mean that King Oak does count as an Indian hero then? Well, Chavez is also an alien. Guess the Murray, Robbie Reyes, Louise, and Ajax don't exist. Mirk is an alien from another dimension. Is the American Chavez an alien from another world too? American Chavez technically does not have a race, so your logic makes no sense. American Chavez is an alien as well. Soups, American Chavez is an alien. How do you not know what you're talking about? Interestingly enough, Hawk, Hawkeye series on Disney Plus also introduced a Marvel superhero. Echo, a.k.a. Maya, Maya Lopez. Oh, there you go. In the comics, Lopez is Cheyenne on her father's side and Latino on her mother's side, so at least they kept the race correct, so I don't actually have to update my goddamn fucking woke washing list. The official Marvel X, uh, uh, website explains Maya Lopez grows up in I don't give a shit. America Chavez is clearly another Hispanic superhero. First, oh, she's not Hispanic, she's an alien. Second, we already had experience. Hispanic characters introducing heroes last month Hawkeye. Don't care. Hey. Let me just put it this way. I just don't give a shit. Stop pandering to race and or origins, things like that. It just goddamn fucking racist. It hurts my goddamn fucking brain. But well, who wants to bet? Who wants to bet this garbage is going to use the Latinx trying to normalize that goddamn fucking retarded word that I absolutely hate. Go fuck yourself if you think that word should be applied. Go fuck yourself with a very, very, very large dildo without a lube. No, no, really. Use a pineapple instead of a dildo. And use the goddamn leafy bit first in I to say. And that goddamn fucking hell have a great fucking night.